you know, I wanted to talk about your fear of flying, but I just like if I see a plane on screen, I feel ill. BBC Sounds. I mean, it seems such a. I, I think also it's related to claustrophobia, isn't it? Do you have claustrophobia? Not in a way that I would think of it. Like I wouldn't feel bad going into a narrow hallway or something. But there's something about planes. You're fine in trains. Yeah. Tunnels. Yeah, maybe it's not claustrophobia. Lifts. <laughs> what about lifts? Yeah. No, I'm fine in everything. I think it's more the falling several miles is a burning fireball. What about if you're in a gimp suit? You know, I've never had a problem. It sounds like it's just planes then. Yeah. Do you think that's held you back? I think, yeah, you could have gone and done some more stuff. I got offered writing jobs in America that I couldn't do because I couldn't travel. I tried to do it. I tried to fly over when I got offered this writing job and I took so much Valium, I nearly died. Did you get on the plane? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I felt terrible. But then, of course, you've got two days of just trying to come to your senses in New York. Seriously? Yeah. And then you're thinking, also, I have to fly back. That's in your head from the minute you land. Oh, God, we've got to do this again. And it ruins everything. You do realise uh, plane travel is the safest form of travel, right? Yeah, it's the whole... It's the whole falling through the sky at an unusual angle and then blowing up. That's what pissed me off. It's the nature of how, how bad it can go. Would you be all right in a balloon? No, absolutely not. Who would be? You don't care about where you go? You're just going to get into a balloon? Yep. Let's see which way the wind blows. <laughs> Grounded with Louis Theroux on BBC Sounds.